Tonight, live from the Grand Sierra Resort, against the stunning backdrop of Reno Tahoe, Nevada, history will be made. Confident, accomplished teens representing our country will descend upon our stage. But only one contestant will be crowned Miss Teen USA. And now, please welcome your 2023 Miss Teen USA contestants. Star Hunter, Alaska. Peyton Stewie, Arizona. Mackenzie Scott, Arkansas. Talia Pires, California. Grace Cubney, Colorado. Jade Ferdinand, Connecticut. Molly LaBelle, Delaware. Asia Chisley, District of Columbia. Charlize Nelson, Florida. Denim Lovett, Georgia. Noalani Denisi, Hawaii. Angelina Ryan, Idaho. Vivica Lewandowski, Illinois. Kinley Shoemaker, Indiana. Madeline Erickson, Iowa. Riley Steinman, Kansas. Mashaya Bradshaw, Kentucky. Avery Bliss Crawford, Louisiana. Jasmine Roy, Maine. Madeline Posey, Maryland. Jenilyn Quintana, Massachusetts. Avery Hill, Michigan. Michaela Rivers, Minnesota. Claire Ulmer, Mississippi. Madison Beck, Missouri. Ava Williams, Montana. Aubrey Charter, Nebraska. Emily Cox, Nevada. Marisa Rumondo, New Hampshire. Uma Sofia Srivastava, New Jersey. Aisha Rose Simpson, New Mexico. Stephanie Skinner, New York. Katie Setzer, North Carolina. Morgan Schwint, North Dakota. Carolina Sola, Ohio. Jacelyn Rossman, Oklahoma. Isabella Ellsworth, Oregon. Maggie Ross, Pennsylvania. Lola Paolisi, Rhode Island. Kenley McVeigh, South Carolina. 
Lindsay Fingston, South Dakota. Bly Allen, Tennessee. Haley Puckett, Texas. Jocelyn Osmond, Utah. Nadia Dakers, Vermont. Ashley Wong, Virginia. Mackenzie Kaiken, Washington. Lakin Campbell, West Virginia. Shelby Haneke, Wisconsin. Victoria Salas, Wyoming. Please welcome our hosts, superfan Chris Persky and Miss Teen 2022, Baron Meddy. Welcome to the Miss Teen USA preliminary competition. Tonight is very important because the decisions our judges make after active wear and evening gown rounds will dictate our top 20 in our live show streaming on the CW app on Thursday. That's right, Farron. Now tonight, we're getting right into the action and introducing all of our contestants. Tonight, our 51 contestants will compete in active wear and evening gown rounds, followed by an elimination down to 20 during our main show live on the CW app. And based on those results, our judges will decide who has what it takes to be Miss Teen USA 2023. And this year's competition is also especially exciting because we have a dynamic new president and CEO of Miss Teen USA and Miss USA. And as an educator, I like to use the ABCs to describe people. She is ambitious, she is beautiful, she is charismatic. Ladies and gentlemen, Layla Rose. While many people resist change, tonight we're embracing it. As the new president and CEO of Miss USA and Miss Teen USA, we are going to continue growing these programs and championing these confident young women. Tonight, we will meet visionaries in philanthropy, education, and positivity. We know that all women have unique strengths, goals, and desires, and they will use their voices for causes that speak to their hearts. We will inspire young leaders to go beyond their potential, push out of their comfort zones, and turn dreams into reality. Our goal is to inspire all women to explore their beliefs and continue to preserve integrity along the way. Today's young woman writes her own story, creating a positive impact for the world. Change is inevitable for growth, for success, and most definitely for development, not only for oneself, but for all who earn the Miss USA and Miss Teen USA crowns. Now, hosting the show is fun, but the tough, thankless job, well, that falls upon our esteemed panel of judges. Allow us to introduce them now. She's a motion picture actress and an ambassador for UNICEF and Miss New Jersey USA 2014, Emily Shaw. Hallmark Channel star and entrepreneur, Katie Kazorla. Singer, comedian, and TikTok star, Tabitha Swatwash. Now, I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but actress and former Miss Teen USA, I'm not gonna say the year, 1983, Ruth Sakarian, you and me, pictures later. <laughs> Businesswoman and founder of Kobu Water, Mindy Ma Mahi. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I have a tendency to tell people I work out every day. I mean, look at this buff exterior. <laughs> Okay, just a couple laps, that was good. Okay, truth be told, I work out every other day. No worries, Chris. I haven't been to the gym since January, but our 51 contestants, they're active, athletic, and ready to take the stage. So let's take a look at our activewear competition. Alabama, 
Kenzie, Miss Alabama Teen USA, is a 10th grader at Spanish Fort High School. She's involved in the Best Buddies program, along with Kendra Cares, and is currently working with a former teacher to develop a program at her local elementary school, Alabama. Alaska Star is a 16-year-old and a varsity football and baseball cheerleader at her high school. From food pantries to serving children food at their schools, Star always has always had a heart for helping others and giving back to others. Alaska. Arizona. Peyton is currently a freshman at Grand Canyon University with a major in nursing. She was a dancer for 15 years, which explains why she loves to dance in the car to old music. Arizona. Arkansas. Mackenzie is a sophomore at John Brown University where she is double majoring in marketing and management with a minor in business. She is an advocate for the American Heart Association and also focuses on mental health awareness by spreading the message that it's always okay to ask for help. Arkansas. California. Talia is a proud Sri Lankan American. Talia is a college freshman at Santa Clara University, majoring in management information systems. She started her nonprofit, III Creatives, inspiring imagina imagination and inclusivity to bring to light the necessity of creative thinking and arts education, California. Colorado. Grace is a sophomore at the University of Boulder, where she is studying sports, media, and marketing. She advocates for adults with developmental disabilities by working closely with Treeline Pass, an organization that guides adults with disabilities to learn, grow, and thrive. Colorado. Connecticut. Jade is a student at the University of Connecticut, where she majors in psychology. Jade is dedicated to making a positive impact in the lives of teens through social advocacy on her Glow Empowerment page and volunteering with organizations like Best Buddies and Make-A-Wish, Connecticut. Delaware, Molly is a rising senior at the Wilmington Friends School where she is currently the sports section educator for her school's newspaper and an international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Molly has continued to advocate for those with physical limitations and serves as an example for girls to be the healthiest versions of themselves. Delaware. District of Columbia, Asia is a rising senior and honor roll student attending St. Charles High School. Asia was inspired by her cousin to start her own eyelash extension business at age 15 and is proud to be a certified lash technician who is currently developing her own brand of eyelash extensions, District of Columbia. Florida, Charlize created a Change for Charity initiative with a mission to reduce the effect of child hunger. Committed to an education with a goal to graduate summa cum laude, while enrolled in Harvard's online school, she aspires to study political science and business law. Florida. Give it up for our first group of contestants in the activewear competition. Miss Georgia, Denim is a junior at the University of North Georgia and has taken on multiple leadership roles, including organizing for the Special Olympics, basketball, and being a community liaison for the National Science Honor Society. As the CEO and founder of Involvement Counts, Denim is passionate about lowering the high school dropout rate, Georgia. Hawaii, Noe Lani is a 2022 graduate of Maui High School and currently working in tech with Clarinet Solutions. Noe Lani advocates for eating disorder awareness and body acceptance, as that is a huge lesson of her lifetime, but she strives to continue her outreach and aid everyone that has in a similar position. Hawaii. Idaho, Angelina is a college student majoring in pre-medicine, working towards a career as a neonatologist carrying nine medical certifications at the age of 18. She has served as an emergency responder for over three years and works with the American Red Cross. Idaho. Illinois. 
This fall, Vivica will be a first-generation university student. She is the founder of the nationally known charity, Chicago Charity, Clay's, which has raised over $2 million for veterans, PTSD research, family therapy, and marriage counseling. Illinois. Indiana. Kinley is a freshman at Butler University studying sports media and journalism. As a partner of the Unified Flag football team, Kinley had four career touchdowns and developed a passion for bringing awareness to Unified Sports and the Special Olympics. Indiana. Iowa. Madeline is currently a college student majoring in broadcast journalism and is also a sports reporter for her university's TV station. Madeline was a sports insert at KCCI in high school, which helped her gain confidence in using her voice and breaking barriers in predominantly male industries. Iowa. Kansas. Riley graduated from Eudora High School with honors while being the captain of her cheer squad, soccer player, and National Honor Society member. She began attending cosmetology school her junior year in order to accelerate the process to her dream career and is now a hairstylist at one of the top salons in Kansas City, specializing in textured hair, Kansas. Kentucky. Mashiah is a 17-year-old senior with the dream of earning her degree in broadcast journalism, a BFA in creative writing, and becoming a TV personality. She's an advocate for so scol scoliosis awareness, loves poetry, and even had her first poem published at age eight. Kentucky. Louisiana, Avery is 17 years old and a senior. A senior at the Dunham School in Baton Rouge, Avery founded her own nonprofit organization called Hair Care for Hope, which collects hair supplies and tools to donate to domestic violence clinics and shelters around Louisiana. Louisiana. Maine. Jasmine is a senior at Ranger Fanger High School where she plays varsity lacrosse and is president of the high school's Best Buddies chapter. She will graduate high school with her associate's degree in business and plans to earn her master's degree outside of school. She is a first degree black belt in Taekwondo. Maine. Give it up for our second group of contestants in the active wear preliminary competition. Maryland, Madeline was born and raised in Maryland and is honored to be the first Mohawk Native American teen to represent her state at Miss Teen USA. Madeline's mission is to instill the confidence, courage, and ensure self-worth in teens. Maryland. Massachusetts, Yanilin is a 17-year-old senior attending Havoc Haverhill High School. Yanilin is passionate about baking Puerto Rican pastries with her sisters, creating memories with her family while embracing the beauty of her Puerto Rican culture and the delicious food. Massachusetts. Michigan. Avery is a senior at North Farmington High School and is planning to major in neuroscience and work in genetic research while also pursuing a career in fashion. She's involved with the Tourette's Association to help us spread awareness for Tourette syndrome. Michigan. Minnesota. Michaela is a four sport athlete performer in her school's musical theater productions and a member of the National Society of High School Scholars. Michaela participates on her school's technovation team and has received a rising star and state honorable mention award from Aspirings and Computing. Minnesota. Mississippi. Claire is a freshman at the University of Mississippi studying sports broadcasting. She experienced life-threatening symptoms of undiagnosed celiac disease and now uses her story to inspire others not to be defined by their adversity. 
Mississippi. Missouri. Madison is a graduate from Sekman High School where she served as a student council president and a member of her DECA National Honor Society and the dance team. Her passion for helping others led her to create a platform called the Madison Project, teaching kindness, character, and purpose. Missouri. Montana. Ava is currently a freshman at Montana State University where she is studying biology with a pre-med emphasis. Ava is the founder of Bags of Books, a nonprofit created in 2020 that is dedicated to encouraging the love of reading and low-income preschoolers. Montana. Nebraska. Aubrey graduated from North Platte High School in May of 2023 and is attending the University of Nebraska at Kearney to study pre-pharmacy and earn a degree in biochemistry. She established a platform called A Little Birdie Loves You, care and comfort for those diagnosed with cancer. Nebraska. Nevada. Emily is a freshman at Washington State University, majoring in apparel design and merchandising. Emily developed her platform entitled Informing the Future, which informs the younger generation on how they can make smart environmental choices. Nevada. New Hampshire. Marissa is a freshman attending River University with aspirations of pursuing a rewarding career in nursing. When she's not wearing her sash and crown, you can find her in scrubs, working diligently as an LNA, or in boots, adorously helping her father with his property management business. New Hampshire. Give it up for our third group of contestants in the active wear competition. New Jersey, Uma Sofia is the first Mexican Indian Miss New Jersey Teen USA and hopes to become a UN ambassador. She has collected over 1,000 books for the Bridge of Books Foundation to donate to inner city kids in New Jersey and has authorized and illustrated her own book, The White Jaguar, to inspire people of all ages to embrace what makes them unique. New Jersey. New Mexico, Asia, a junior homeschool student with a 4.0 GPA, being raised as a missionary kid coupled with her strong Christian faith, has given Asia a heart of service and passion to ignite transformation. New Mexico. New York. Stephanie founded Hands of Hope, a national organization empowering 20,000 teens with the message of hope and self-acceptance. As a student at the Wharton School of Business, she is passionate about creating spaces where diversity and inclusion thrive through her involvement in Wharton Women and Bridges to Wealth. New York. North Carolina. Katie, 18, resides in Hickory, North Carolina and is currently a sophomore at Katwa Valley Community College studying cosmetology. Katie now plans to use her experience to lead by example and with action by impacting others with her project, SCAR, stories of confidence and resilience, encouraging others to find beauty in their own imperfections. North Carolina. North Dakota. Morgan will be obtaining her esthetician's license as she used the beauty industry as a passion to help herself as well as others to feel confident and beautiful within their own skin. She plans on attending North Dakota State University, continuing her career in business and marketing, North Dakota. Ohio. Carolina is a senior at Gala Academy and full-time college credit plus student. She is an ambassador for the On Our Sleeves organization to tackle mental health crisis facing her generation. Ohio. Oklahoma. Jacelyn is a student athlete at Oklahoma State University. She plans to use her degree to become the CEO of her own company, 
possibly an accounting firm or beginning a fitness brand. Oklahoma. Oregon. Isabella is an 18-year-old freshman at Gonzaga University pursuing a degree in nursing. As a lifelong athlete, she started her initiative, Izzy's Gear for Girls, collecting and donating softball equipment to teams and players in need. Oregon. Pennsylvania. Maggie is a marketing major in the Honors College at the University of Pittsburgh. As Miss Teen USA, she wants to continue changing the narrative of wellness for young women, making it a celebration of our bodies and how fitness can positively impact our lives and elevate our minds. Pennsylvania. Rhode Island. Lola is a 16-year-old high school junior from Cranston, Rhode Island. Lola recently started her own free dance program for children in her community who do not have the means to take the classes in, con in a conventional way. Rhode Island. Give it up for our fourth group of contestants in the Active Wear Preliminary Competition. South Carolina, Kenley is a sophomore at Clemson University, double majoring in communications and women's leadership. She loves to give back to Safe Harbor, which is an organization that supports citizens of South Carolina who are experiencing domestic violence. South Carolina. South Dakota. Lindsay is a graduate of Stevens High School in Rapid City, South Dakota. She has an interest in becoming a luxury real estate agent. South Dakota. Tennessee. Bly is a 17-year-old honor student and has her sights set on a career in medicine. She supports multiple children's literacy initiatives and has become involved with the Best Buddies program. Tennessee. Texas. Haley is a published author of an inspirational self-love journal that impacts Gen Z nationwide. As a UCA All-American Cheerleader, Student Council Vice President, and National English Honor Society member, Haley exemplifies leadership and determination. Texas! Utah, Jocelyn is a decorated communicator with the first place win at Utah's state speech and debate competition. Jocelyn's ambition and positivity are off the charts, but as a mental health advocate, her focus is on helping all teens feel seen and heard. Utah. Vermont. Nadia is currently a senior in high school and aspires to go to college for environmental science, minoring in sustainability. Her platform, Earth Day Every Day, was founded in 2020 out of her passion for a cleaning community. Vermont. Virginia, Ashley is a high school junior aiming to study biochemistry and become a cosmetic chemist. She hopes she can combine her love for chemistry and beauty to create products that will help people feel confident in their own skin. Virginia. Washington. Mackenzie is a running start student and will graduate with her high school diploma and an associate's in arts degree. Mackenzie enjoys community service and she started Girls With Game to provide sports equipment, clinics, and providing help with fees for girls so they could play sports. Washington. 
West Virginia. Lakin is an 18-year-old first-year student at the U at West Virginia University Honors College, majoring in journalism with a minor in pre-law. She was the valedictorian of her high school with a graduating class of over 400 and a GPA of 4.6. West Virginia. Wisconsin. Shelby is a born and raised Wisconsinite with a passion for helping others and inspiring authenticity. She is a currently pursuing her real estate license and a freelance model who has recently appeared on a best-selling book cover. Wisconsin. Wyoming, Victoria is a 19-year-old who recently graduated from Evanston High School in the spring. She plans to get licensed as an esthetician soon. Wyoming. Well, now that they they're try oh. Let's hear it for our final group and the activewear competition for Miss Teen USA 2023. All right, Farron. Well, now that they're out of activewear, I think it's time to get a little bit more fancy. What do you think? That's right, Chris. Coming up is the evening gown competition. The girls definitely get to show off their own personal style in this round because they get to choose their own evening gowns. It's my personal favorite. Me too. I absolutely love gown. We get to see their personal style. Absolutely. And now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. It's time for the evening gown competition. Alabama. Arizona. California. Colorado. 
Connecticut. District of Columbia. We begin evening gown group two with Georgia.
Indiana. Kansas. Louisiana. Let's begin evening gown group three with Maryland.
Michigan. Minnesota. Mississippi. Montana. Nevada. New Hampshire. 
Let's begin evening gown group four with New Jersey. New York. North Carolina. North Dakota. Oklahoma. Pennsylvania.
and we begin the final group in evening gown with South Carolina. Tennessee. Virginia. Washington. West Virginia.
we want to thank all of our 51 contestants. They were amazing. These young women are about to accomplish so much in their lives, and this is just the beginning. They're teens, ladies and gentlemen, they're teens. They worked so hard to get to this moment. Farron, I know you were here last year. What were you thinking at this point during the preliminary competition? Oh my goodness, all sorts of feelings, but really I was super calm during prelims actually. I didn't think my interview went so well and so I recentered myself after interview and I realized what a once in a lifetime opportunity it is to compete at Miss Teen USA, what a privilege it is to represent my state and I really just wanted to have fun and soak in the experience. Well, you wowed the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, she won the crown, Miss Teen USA 2022. All right? What an amazing night. Congratulations to all our contestants. Let's give them a round of applause. Let's go. Let's hear it. And you don't want to miss the conclusion of Miss Teen USA streaming on the CW app and site this Thursday. Good night, everyone. Good night, and thank you.